Hey Pisces, what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today we're going to be doing a general timeless reading. But first I want to share something with you which is really really fun. I'm not sponsored by this company in any way, uh, but I do get a discount <laughs> if some of you signed up for this. So, you know, check it out. This is something that I do for workouts. So I want to walk every day, but I'm very lazy and I need a lot of motivation. So what I do is I have this little uh, watch thingy that counts my steps. There's this app called The Conqueror Challenges, which I'm addicted to. And they basically give you like, okay, you can buy a challenge. Let's ask for, I want to go to Paris, okay? So you buy the challenge for Paris, 30 bucks. That's, I don't know how many kilometers of, of walking or miles of walking or running or whatever. And you go in this like little tour of Paris. And it's like as you walk in your daily life, as you do your workouts, you advance in the little map and you get to like see different, <laughs> it's like through, um, what is this thing? Through Google Maps or whatever, you can like literally see as if you were walking in Paris, like the cafes, the stores, you can go into the things. It's super cool. And... Uh, as you go and move forward, it's like every time that you complete 20% of the distance that you aim for, they plant a uh, tree in your name. Or they get like bottles out of the ocean, you know, to, in, in a clean cleaning thing. Uh, and you get these beautiful, freaking amazing uh, medals. So these are the places that I've been to in the challenges. This is the one for Egypt. I didn't like it as much, to be honest. I thought it was going to be like way cooler. Um, like actually being there and walking around was very, I don't know, dusty. <laughs> it just looks very dusty. Um, so I, I don't know. I didn't love it that much. This one I did love. This was the first I did. It was um, Cambodia and I've been there in person. So I did this one first to see how accurate the app was, you know, to see if all of the places that I actually went to look the same and it does and it's super cool um this one was my favorite Cote de Sur, um french riviera because i didn't know how beautiful it was so i've been like obsessed with it ever since and i got this one too which is for chichen itza which is amazing too the metals are gorgeous and uh, it just motivates you to walk, man. It just <laughs> motivates you to run or, you know, bike or just work out. There's different ways in which you can set your your little watch. You don't even have to have a watch. If you have like a uh, thing that uh, can tell you the distance that you're walking every time you're walking or if you have uh, something that can tell you how many steps, you know, that's going to be enough for you to put it in. Also, you can do it like with other people, so you can like sign up the family and kind of like compete against each other or um, go and do like massive challenges like, okay, you're going to do this country, I'm going to do this country. And, you know, when all the family's done, we cover Europe, things like that. It's really, really fun, really cool. You get to see the countries before you visit. You get to feel like you're visiting, you know. So I'm currently doing the Paris one. I'm going to show you here on my phone. So this is the app. This is what it looks like. Let me see if I can make this a little clearer. This is very unlike me. Like I'm not one to promote things like this, but I'm obsessed. I've been obsessed for months. Um, so as you can see, I have nine days left to finish my Paris trip. Um, I completed 2.88 kilometers, which is what we use here in Panama. Now you can see here that I'm in the map. And you can see the view of where I'm at currently. So I'm in some random street in Paris, kind of like a, literally like a random road. Um, but if I want to go somewhere, let's say I want to go to, fuck, I don't know, somewhere more, more exciting. <laughs> I can't believe this is what I thought was exciting, but this is the university, I guess. <laughs> and I can like, you know, look around, see everything. If I want to go to 
the Louvre or you know you just can you can walk around it's super fun it's really cool and you can see the places and we're gonna get to the reading I promise I know this is kind of like annoying if you're not interested but it's so cool it's worth it like you should be interested <laughs> um, so there's like freaking infinite amount of challenges some of them are countries, others are like Game of Thrones, there's five challenges within that. Lord of the Rings, you get uh, like Singapore, Tokyo, you know, Dublin. A lot of these could actually be where you guys live. So that's also really cool to do. So far they don't have one for Panama, unfortunately. But yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. It's really fun. I've been doing it consistently as you can see and I love these medals because I feel like I'm accomplishing good things even though I'm pretty much just being consistent. Uh, but still, it has helped me lose weight. It's fun. It makes me want to count my steps and stuff like that. So I'm gonna leave the link in the description box below. Know that if you get uh, if you get it through the link, I think I get some kind of discount or something on my next challenge, which is awesome. Um, but honestly, you guys, like, Please let me know. First, let me know if you already know about this. And if you don't know about this, let me know if you're wanting to join and what country would you like to, uh, you know, kind of walk through <laughs> in this way. All right, so having that said, let's move on to the reading. For those of you, oh, oh, wow. okay. for those of you who are not particularly excited or interested in this, I'm sorry for the big, big introduction for this video. I hope you don't mind. So let's use the cat tarot. Universe, angels, beings of love and light, please bring in the most relevant, accurate, important, powerful messages and confirmations for Pisces. What is it that Pisces needs to hear right now? What is it that Pisces needs to know right now? Please bring in the most relevant information. Ooh, the magician. Okay, Pisces, love that for you. You can make things happen. You are in an energy, if you look around, you have all the ingredients. You have what it takes. In the table in front of the magician, there lies every single element. A pentacle, a cup, a sword, and a wand. Fire, earth, water, and air. In your life, you have the physical resources. Even if you think you don't, there are ways around that, okay? You have the mental capacity. Even if others tell you that you need to know this or that or whatever, you can do it. If you need to have the emotional stamina or wisdom, you have it. If you need the passion, the inspiration, the perseverance, you have it too. So what are you going to use this for? Okay, What are you going to use everything that you have to your disposal for? Is there something that you're craving? Is there something that you really want to experience? There could be a Capricorn, a Virgo, a Taurus person, or someone who's very, like, grown up and wealthy. <laughs> and I mean grown up because I'm getting, in this case, the energy of someone, like, older than you. It doesn't have to be the case about that card, usually, but I feel someone who's, like, almost not looking down on you, but looking at you as, aw, uh -uh, you know. Pisces is just starting out, or they're immature, or they're younger, they don't know what they're doing, or something like that. Um, and this person could be a little condescending. <laughs> this person may make you feel like you don't have the resources, like you don't have um, the... Like you're not equipped for what you want. They may have wanted to make you feel that way, they have almost like tried to convince you of that. For quite some time. And in some cases, I feel like this person has confused you into believing that you don't deserve or that you are not ready for big, massive prosperity or big, massive success. Because we have the Ten of Pentacles. And it's in the environment. There is someone here that's like almost trying really hard for you not to see how many things are uh, backing you up, how many things you have in your favor. 
So maybe they're telling you, oh, you know, with the thing you've studied, you know, that degree means nothing. You know, what 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 the, what are universities that about? Like, you know, but they're not telling you like, oh my god, you have a degree, like that makes a difference. You know what I mean? There's a lot of things that you have, Pisces. A lot of things that you have that you've learned that you've developed, abilities, uh, wisdom, information, degrees, tools, resources. You have what it takes to do something amazing. Don't let your mind, your past trauma, people who want to bring you down, don't let them. Don't let them convince you that you are a newbie, that you're an amateur, because you're not. You really are not, Pisces. Maybe in this life you are, but you have this wisdom to you that people who have spent years in, the, in your industry, whatever that may be, haven't developed and you may have that kind of like as a factory setting <laughs> you know what i mean basically this reading is telling you don't let anything stop you i feel like to the extent in which some of you believed that you were not ready is to the extent in which you almost like shrunk and prevented yourself from moving forward but I see here with the Judgment card that there is Divine Justice in the near future. That the balance is going to be balanced in your favor. I feel like there is someone here that made you feel crippled. That made you feel broken. That made you feel... It could even be like a doctor a psychiatrist, a psychologist, a healer, they could have made you feel like you were broken. Like, oh, you know, you have this and this and this and that, and you're never going to get healed from this and this and that, and, you know, kind of like lower your standards and, and play small because that's already a blessing that you can just, you know, do that, right? Someone here was almost like speaking sweet nothings that made you feel like, oh, okay, that explains a lot. But then I feel like some of you over-identified with those limitations. I feel like this person has been left in the past. Or they have left for whatever reason. And I feel like with them gone, internally you have more peace. I feel like to a certain extent, there was someone in your environment or someone that you had a connection with. Just by being in touch with them communicating with them, um, you know, being treated by them, whatever it may be. This person, because of your empathy, Pisces, you were almost like feeling or absorbing or taking on a little bit of their energy. And now that they're gone, you can see straight again. You're moving into calmer waters. You're realizing that there were a lot of things that you were blinded to. And most of those things are about your own potential. This could have been about a Virgo. Could be any other sign. I also feel like some of you have been for years measuring your value through measuring your productivity, your achievements, your... Uh, success, awards, recognitions, degrees, something very material in nature because of the King of Pentacles being the challenge. Some of you here I see with the Three of Swords in your mind space that there is difficulty happening in the mind. You're thinking about heartache, heartbreak. I feel like many of you are like looking back and saying or thinking about a heartache or heartbreak that made you feel like you were ill-equipped for life or ill-equipped for your goal. And now I feel like you're reconsidering that and you're like, well, this person said that, but is it 100% true? Like, would everybody say that? I don't know, it's like, it's like you're second guessing something, like a professional opinion could be. You're realizing that it's not about the resources, it's about the resourcefulness. And as you gather your resourcefulness, you're going to start realizing that you have more resources than you realized. 
trying to say that five times in a row. <laughs> There's a brand new beginning here. A brand new beginning that has to do with prosperity. Some of you are starting a new journey, a new path, a new career. You're going to be very prosperous. You don't have to do much. You just need to keep going is what I heard. You already have what it takes. Everything has been set in motion, Pisces. You're not going to have to defend your earnings, your success. I feel like some of you have been like fighting for every inch of progress that you made and fighting to keep it and protect it, you know? Um, that's changing. That's not going to be the case anymore, Pisces. I feel like you're going to be on a flow, you know, uninterrupted, uneventful flow. Some of you may have a conversation with a Virgo that is really going to open your mind. And you're going to realize that you need to let go of something. This person, you know, it could be a friend, it could be a family member, it could be whoever. Um, possibly a Virgo, most likely. Um, sun, moon, or rising sign. And this person, just like through a random conversation, maybe about something that has nothing to do with where you're living, um, this person may say something and you're going to be like, oh my god, that's exactly what has been blocking me. Like, and it doesn't have to be necessarily like a reading or a reader or anything. It could be just someone at the bus stop or something, <laughs> you know, maybe someone on the phone with someone else. You just hear them, you know, say a quote or say something, an advice or something, and it just like blows your mind. Um, be open to that because the world and the universe, you know, it's kind of like conspiring on your behalf. You have what it takes. You have the keys to the blocked doors. Locked doors. You have the keys for all of them. Rest assured that you have the keys. Rest assured that you have the abilities. So if you doubt your ability to do something, you have a dream and you don't know if you're going to be good enough to write that book or to get published or to um, become number one on Spotify, whatever, I don't know. You have what it takes. You need to make that happen, okay? I see travel. I see movement, international connections of all sorts. I feel this this has been showing up in some of the personalized readings I've been doing lately. Um, how there's gonna be a path shaping up for some of you that includes a lot of little paths that you have already been on. So let's say that uh I don't know, you have always liked to read tarot and you've always liked social media and you've always loved writing horror film scripts. Ow. It may be that now you're going to be doing all of those three in one project. I don't know what that would look like, but you know what I'm saying. It's like <laughs> gathering little things that you have already been invested in that you think may have nothing to do with each other and bringing them all together into one massive like new endeavor thing. That's exciting, Pisces. It's exciting. By the way, you guys, since there have been so many requests for the personalized readings, I'm just going to leave that open for a little bit. Um, so if you would like one at the price of $55 with 55 cents, um, it's for a 15 to 20 minute reading on a specific question. That offer is going to be available, I think, for the rest of Pisces season. So uh, check it out if you wanted a personalized reading and you consider them to be a little bit too expensive. Um, this would be a good way to you know, take advantage of that and get yours. So all you need to do is click in the link in the description box. You're going to see it. I'm going to put it right there next to the or under the Conqueror Challenge thing. Uh, so you can check that out. One last card for Pisces. Protected. You're safe and supported while you change your career. Some of you are changing your careers straight up. You're protected, Pisces. And I think that this has come up for you in other readings. You're protected. You're protected from the darkest of darks. Look at the, the wings on this angel. They're dark. It's like you are protected from all levels. All right, my love, so this is what I got for you. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for hanging out. Um, I will be seeing you in the next reading. I'll leave everything in the description box. 
Love you so much. Happy birthday to Pisces born today. Happy birthday to those celebrating recently and those who will be celebrating um, in the near future. Love you all so much. Bye.